Hi guys, Justin here. I've posted a few videos about down jackets in the last little while, and I wanna talk about how you care for those jackets, specifically how, when, and why you should be washing your down jacket. I've used duck loads of down products over the years, and today I'm gonna to go over how you can wash your jacket and rejuvenate it without ruining the down. Luckily, my Ghost Whisperer down jacket here is in need of a wash, so we're gonna to get to go through this process together. So grab your favorite stanky down jacket and let's get to it. First up, let's talk about why you should wash your down jacket. And the main reason is that down can grow mold and bacteria if not cared for, especially if it's been used in a humid and wet environment. The mold and bacteria is really bad for the down because it reduces loft and loft is the main factor that's keeping you warm. It's that fluff that comes with your jacket. The down can also get dirty, which leads to it holding more moisture, which compounds the mold and bacteria problem. And down just likes to be washed and cared for. It's pretty resilient and giving it a good wash can rejuvenate a loftless jacket and really increase the warmth factor that you may have lost. You'll know it's time to wash your jacket when you start noticing that it has reduced loft, so it's not quite as puffy and fluffy as it once was. You'll start to notice some discoloration, particularly if it's a lighter color, you might start seeing some greenish or yellow tinges to it. And if you've spent a lot of time in wet and humid environments, you're gonna start potentially seeing that mold and bacteria problem. If you're using your down jacket quite a bit, almost daily, then you'll wanna be washing it at least once a month, but that really depends on what your use is and how active you are while you're using it. So you've hit one of the triggers that says your jacket's in need of a wash. What do you do? There's a few different places where you can get information on how to wash a down jacket. First place you should look is on the label of your jacket. There's usually some information on how to care for it and how to wash it. So definitely look at that. That's the number one place to look. Number two is if you have a down wash detergent product, then look on the label there and it'll also give you some information. For this video, I also contacted one of the big suppliers of down to a lot of the major down product manufacturers out there and they provided me some tips on how to care for your down jacket. And then combined with all my experience, I think that we're gonna be able to put together a pretty comprehensive guide on how to wash a down jacket. The things that you'll need in order to wash a down jacket, first up, you'll need a down jacket or any down product in general. This system will work for that, whether it's a sleeping bag, a quilt, or down pants, you'll be able to use the same process for watch, washing each of those down items. You'll also need some down specific detergent. I have here Nick Wax Down Wash Direct. I've used this a lot and it's worked really well and it's highly recommended by a lot of different people out there and down manufacturers. I also recommend that you grab a few tennis balls and not to play tennis with. These are super useful when drying the jacket as it helps break up clumps of down that may be a little bit wet and starting to stick together. And obviously you'll need a washer and dryer, ideally a front loader as the top loaders with agitators can damage the jacket material. That's it, you don't need anything else. You don't need fabric softener or bleach or those static sheets that you throw in the dryer. All you need is what we just talked about. So let's get to it and wash this jacket. All right, so we're ready to wash. First thing I wanna mention is that this isn't a quick process. You're gonna to wanna to set aside at least a few hours, do it on a day where you're gonna be around the house maybe doing some other chores. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you're ready to wash your jacket is make sure that there's no residual detergent in the washing detergent tray. Just wipe that out, because detergent is really gonna kill the down by stripping off those natural fats and oils. And then make sure inside as well, no residual detergent. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check your jacket pockets for anything that you might have left in them. I'm pretty notorious for washing lip chap and money, so I just double check that and then do up all the zippers so that there's nothing that can snag on the jacket material. So just doing up these side zippers and I already have the main chest zipper done up. And once that's done, you can throw it into the wash. I'm just putting the one jacket into the wash right now. I recommend putting only two items if they're small or medium size, or if it's a large item like a sleeping bag, just put that one item in the washing machine, wash it by itself. Next up is to put the detergent in. So like I said, make sure you're using a down specific detergent. I'm using the Nick Wax 
downwash direct and follow direct the directions on there for how much you want to put in. You can pick this up at any REI or Amazon. I'll put links in the video description. So 100 milliliters. There we go. Once you have the detergent on, you can set up the settings on your washing machine. So I'm gonna set mine to delicates because that's that puts a lot of the settings that I need into play. But you wanna make sure that you're on cold, cold, low spin, and normal soil level. And then you're all set, you can press start and then get the washing going. The wash is done and it's highly recommended that once you're done with that first wash, that you put the jacket through another rinse cycle. And that's just gonna help get rid of any residual detergent that's left in the jacket. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use the same settings. So once I set my washing machine to rinse, it tries to put it on high spin. So I'm gonna make sure that's on low and make sure my temperature's on cold and my soil level is gonna be on normal. And then once all that's set, then you're good to go. You can start her up and get that rinse going. So the wash is done, time to put the jacket into the dryer. Be careful when moving it from the washer to the dryer. Some jackets, if they're a little bit heavier, have a bit more fill in them, are gonna be quite heavy and you don't want to wreck any of the jacket material while you're moving it. So just be a little bit careful. So once we got that in there, that's when the tennis balls come into play. So I'm gonna throw in two tennis balls into the dryer. Sometimes I'll put in three if I'm washing something a bit bigger like a sleeping bag. You definitely don't wanna be air drying your jacket at all. Air drying is gonna leave clumps and bits of down all stuck together. And that's what you wanna avoid by using the dryer and the tennis balls. It might take a few hours for your jacket to dry. I like to put it in for one hour at a time and check it after each of those times. So I'm gonna turn it on. And the settings that you're gonna want are low temperature and delicate tumble. And I'm gonna set it for 60 minutes. Then we're gonna get it started and we'll see how it's doing in an hour. The first hour of drying is done. Let's see how the jacket's doing. So it's definitely drying. The outside's feeling dry, but I can definitely feel a little bit of dampness inside of the jacket. Even once I think the jacket's dry, I like to put it in for just a little bit longer just to make sure that all the down inside the jacket is dry and has it declumped. So I'm gonna put it in there and set it for another hour. Don't be afraid of over drying your jacket. If you keep it on low temperature, it's gonna be fine. You can put it in for three, four, five hours and you're not gonna ruin the down or the jacket at all. So we're gonna get her started again for another hour and hopefully it's done after that. So we're done two hours of drying. Let's see how the jacket's doing. All right, that's, that's definitely done. So that took two hours two hours to dry my Ghost Whisper, which makes sense since it is an ultralight jacket. If you have a bigger jacket or a sleeping bag, it's probably gonna take quite a bit longer to dry. So let's take a look at some of these baffles here. You can tell that they're much loftier. They're quite a bit plumper. So just take a look at this arm right here. Really nice plumpness to the baffles. So giving the jacket a wash definitely rejuvenated the loft, which is great. Something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is if you do have any feathers that have started poking through during the drying and washing cycles, then don't pull them out. You're just gonna create a big hole that is gonna have more down come out of it in the future. Try and massage it back into the jacket and push it back into the baffle. That way you're not gonna have a big gaping hole in your jacket. We're all done, so that was really easy. So don't be afraid to wash your down jacket. It makes a big difference. You rejuvenate the jacket, get some loft back, and you're not living in a sack of mold and bacteria. Hit that like button if you found this video useful and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.